Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning, ladies. Thank you for joining me here in Dallas, Texas, broadcasting live on the Valder Beebe Show. I want my audience to know about a million and a half Americans have lupus. And I have Dr. John, excuse me, yes, Dr. Joan Van Felt and Chantel in the studio today to address this subject. Thank you, ladies, for joining me to talk about this important subject. If I could start with you, Dr. Von Felt, first of all, what is lupus? So thank you for having us. Yeah, lupus is a chronic autoimmune disease that can affect many organs. The most common are uh, skin and joints. So a patient may present with a rash, some hair loss, uh, fever, fatigue, uh, joint pain, uh, but she can have internal organs uh, affected as well, kidneys, lungs, heart. Um, about 250,000 uh, people in the United States have the more severe form of lupus called systemic lupus erythematosus. And 90% uh, of people that are affected with lupus are women, and two to three times more common in women of color. So it's, it's really very important opportunity to raise awareness about lupus. Men get lupus too. I mean, about 10% of people with lupus are men. And when they get it, because it's not usually considered uh, first or second, those, those men can present to the emergency room quite sick because there's been a long delay in the diagnosis. That's, that's very disheartening. I want you to know that Dr. Von Felt is a professor of medicine, and she's here to address this subject. Chantel, you are an activist for lupus. Can you tell us briefly your story? Hi, um, I can definitely tell you. Um, my name is Chanel. Um, but, uh, I'm Chanel, I'm so sorry. It, it's okay, it happens all the time, I swear. <laughs> it's okay. But um, I was diagnosed with lupus uh, about a year and a half after I first started having symptoms. Um, so at age 19, I, I was literally uh, waking up with really bad headaches, um, had a lot of severe joint pain, achiness, fatigue. Um, I started losing hair. Um, it was really, really rough. And um, like I said, a year and a half later, I was actually diagnosed with lupus with my rheumatologist, um, by my rheumatologist. And uh, it's been really helpful um, having really honest and open dialogues with her. Um, helping to find out what works best for me and um, what treatment plan um, works, doesn't work. And and also um, and other things that help me feel better um, are my poetry and music as an artist, as a performer. It's, it's really helpful doing the things that I care about and uh, connecting to other people living with lupus. And I'm, I'm really grateful to be working with GSK to, to raise awareness to this disease that I'm, I've been battling for so long. Dr. Von Feld, I'll skip to you. I want to find out... Is her story normal? When I say normal, it seems like she had it for a while before it was actually identified. Yes, unfortunately, um, uh, a, a, a patient can have symptoms, and those symptoms go away. And then, uh, uh, you know, a month or two later, uh, she can have our joint pain. Her previous symptom was a rash. So it frequently does take a while for the primary care doctor to eventually refer her to a rheumatologist. Um, but Chanel also emphasizes what I think I found. I, I, as you said, I'm professor of medicine at the University of Pennsylvania. I was there for 30 years. I'm now retired. And I took care of hundreds of lupus patients. And really, it's very important to communicate effectively with your rheumatologist to let her know the symptoms that you're having, the difficulties you're having, so that she can design an individualized plan. And sometimes it does take long to get that diagnosis, but once that patient uh, gets the diagnosis of lupus and works with a rheumatologist, I think that an individualized treatment plan, which not only uh, is medications, but also focusing on the things that are important, as, as Chanel emphasized, her poetry, her music, exercise, give her energy, and also connecting with the wider community of lupus patients. So people living with lupus, there are many resources. One of the resources is usinlupus.com. Um, it's a resource that provides a checklist, for example, so that you can use it to go and talk to your rheumatologist or talk to your doctor about some of the symptoms you're having. But it also connects you with the wider lupus community. And it's so important to get energy, information, and, and support from that wider lupus community. And the website for the connection is what, doctor? Usinlupus.com. U-S-I-N-L-U-P-U-S.com. I want to thank both of you, ladies. I want to thank you, uh, 
I want to make sure I say Chan- Chanel. Yes, Chanel, yes. <laughs> Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com. <laughs> 